going to pop down here. So I might even pick something up from the little shop down here if, if uh, the young fella's in that uh, we normally see. Today we're going out for a tali. For those of you who don't know, tali is an Indian sort of lunch dish, for want of a better word. It's like a little smorgasbord or buffet. Uh, but it's not a buffet. You don't go up to the bar and get the bits and pieces. They just put a little selection of food, food down on either a, a plate. Some places do it on a banana leaf. I'm not sure if the one we're going to today does banana banana leaves um, probably not a lot of them don't so that'll be fun Michelle and I we're going with the uh, the lad from our homestay David is going to take us there reckons it's a good good tie in the meantime take a little poodle out along this road it's very close the main Kochi Fort Kochi town is down that way barely maybe a couple of hundred yards but there's a small village up here the tuk-tuk drivers they're always stopping the tourists and constantly badgering you to do them a little favor we'll see we'll see lots of that while you're here in India guys doing a bit of uh, theodolite um, surveying so they're surveying the the roads they're putting some underground drainage which 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 will be good um, we haven't had any problems with the uh, runaways here so far but it's good to see they're always keeping on top and updating things good day thank you I'm good, how are you? Organised chaos. You just walk along the, the path, everyone's going to say pathways, not the path, just the edge of the road. And uh, the traffic generally avoids you. I mean, don't take my word for it. We're really used to being in many parts of Asia, and India's pretty good. The, it can be a bit hairy at times because they get pretty close to you but there's no real options there's occasionally a bit of pathway but most of the time you've got to walk on the road and up ahead of me now the bunch of tuk-tuks and this little shop quality bakers just here just here on the right let me get some potato chips let's take back I don't need them but I'm going to Hello. Hi. Hello guys, how are you? Fine. <laughs> you are shooting? Yes. Eh? Shooting? Yes. The lad's not here that I normally see when I come in. Are these, these potato chips? These potato chips, the guy normally he cooks them here. Just uh, in the big wok here. You want to interview? interview? I interview. You want to make Hi. some chips? When are you making chips? I'm making for when? Topia Go. When are you making next? Next. Uh, Today? Tomorrow? Today, you nothing like that. Oh, Monday. 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 Okay, so you'll be cooking chips on Monday. Monday. So what, it's a Kerala what time? Traditional food. Okay, so we might come and film the guy cooking the chips here. Because he, he cooks them here. He's got a, a big uh, bowl of... I think he's using veg vegetable oil, yeah? Vegetable oil? Yes. Veggie oil. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How much for these? How much? 30. 30. 35. 35, yeah. No, 30, I think. Well, 150, 35. Before they were 30, I think. Ah, oh, 30, 30. 30. <laughs> so the prices change occasionally. So yeah, you get a bag of chips. It's 30 rupees, which is. And they cook there fresh on that on site. So I'll come back on Monday if I can and, and show you the guy making the French fries. It's really cool. These are freshly made French fries, and they're making it with uh, uh, tapioca. Oh, what is the? It's not tapioca. Oh. Let me. I'll come back to you in a second if I can remember. It's not potato, and it's not. Um, it's not yam. I think it's taro. Anyway, 
they're, they're delicious, crisp. Normally we've been getting, since I got that, we've been getting the spicy ones. They're not that spicy actually, but we uh, recently had the plain ones and they're delicious. They're just lightly salted, but they're really, really sort of uh, crisp. You know, they, they snap, you can kind of hear them. Very crisp, very delicious. 30 rupees is probably about 60 cents Australian, maybe a little bit less actually. So probably under 50 cents US. I'm sat walking along, holding them up. Anyway, heading back now. As I say, later today we'll be going for some tali and uh, I'll take you along. Now here is a massage. This is like a Ayurvedic massage parlor. But if you want to get a massage here in India, or particularly here in Kerala, uh, the prices are pretty high. We're looking at close to 30 Australian dollars, so 20, 22, 25, I don't know, somewhere around that. You, I'll, do, I'll do the prices on my Indian trip in rupees, and you can do the calculations. But that is about $30 for a massage in most parts of Southeast Asia. And bear in mind the cost of living here is quite considerably less. Uh, hotel costs, food costs are less than most other parts of Southeast Asia. But in Thailand, for instance, you'll be getting a massage for under $10, sometimes as little as $5. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the correct price or whether they're trying to sting us because we're tourists, but I definitely won't be going in to check out the local massage at the moment until we find out what the local prices are. You can see on the road sign here, Laza Residency Homestay and Coconut Grove, that's where we're staying. It's down here. We have this little corner shop. You can get most things. You actually get potato chips, but not freshly made potato chips in that place. That's why I walk that little bit further. It's hot in, now the temperatures in Corella are, or in Kochi anyway, where we are here in Fort Kochi, uh, over 30 degrees most days, 31, 32 degrees Celsius. Um, it's probably getting up near 100 Fahrenheit. Oh, I'm not gonna spend the whole time converting stuff, um, but the humidity is very high. 70 80 percent humidity and it feels i mean your body will get absolutely soaked when you're out walking hi this is david david's taking us to tali yeah yeah but your friends what's the name of the restaurant wilson's restaurant wills Sense wilson's restaurant, restaurant. Nearby. it's very nearby and what is tali it's different types of curry you can see on yeah. one uh, banana leaf is he doing it on banana leaf, yeah. do you think? Yeah. Okay. Now we'll hold him to that. Yes, we are fed family. So is he your friend? Yeah, he uh, houses here. He lives here also, yeah? Okay. So we're going to Will's place for Tali. Okay. So we're just, oh, we're at the bus stop. The bus just stops there, people jump off, <laughs> then he takes away like a rocket. So Will's restaurant. Oh, here he is. South Indian breakfast, Carly's meals on a banana leaf and dinner. Beautiful. Let's go in. This is Will, is it? Hello, sir. I'll just go and wash my hand because we're having tali. So we're going native. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat with our hands. Look next door. Whoops. So next door to us we've got a guy doing uh, Royal Enfields. This is a uh, three three fifty? Wrecked. And this one? Uh, Bullet 350? Yeah. So that's a 1970 bullet. 
350 bullet. They're very collectible now. Everybody loves them here in India. If you don't know, the, um, the Royal Enfield was originally... What is that? A B-twin. What, what CC? How big is the motor? So Royal Enfield was originally a British make of bike. Um, hence the name Royal Enfield. And they moved their production over to here in India. And then I think they closed down production, but in India they continued to make Royal Enfield bikes. So you'll see all over India these beautiful Royal Enfield bikes. And now it's becoming quite collectible. They still make them, uh, they're great bikes, but they're starting to collect the 19 sort of 60s and 70s Enfields are becoming highly collectible. How cool is that? So we're having this on, on banana leaf. Thank you, Dias. Thank you. A bit of fresh water. No water for you. We do it at crush on the rice. You crush it on the rice. And mix it. So you take it and crush. Like, like crush like this. Yeah. Put top of the. Yeah. Put and then crush. And crush yeah. like this. Okay. It's a little uh, lime pickle? Uh, uh, this is actually a uh, mango. The mango pickle, okay. So this is the traditional meal for uh, midday, so mid midday till three o'clock, yes? Uh, three, three, maybe three, two. Yeah. Because we won't make too much thing, because nowadays each and everything is very expensive. Oh, okay. So we'll make like a four or five quantity like that. Right. and. Are you now doing this every day here? Yes, every day. You are. Every day I'm doing that. So I would just get my hands in, mm -hmm. mix up the rice yes. and everything like this. Okay. Now, tali, what does tali mean? Do you, do you, do you know the English meaning for this? It's like, because it comes from, I think, uh, it's old days. Yeah. Normally we eat in our home like this, in three, four curries. Mm -hmm. and, and nowadays it's like a tourist tea. More touristy? More touristy. So, but you don't have Thali uh, locals? They, they yeah, there is, but uh, normally we will make only two curries and all. Okay. That's the main thing. So, so you make it like this? Yeah, like this, and a little bit curry, take it. So, a little, try a yeah, little bit of this? Everything, everything, everything. I'm going to try it all, yeah, all piece by piece. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And this one is, um, Different pulses, uh, like a, this not this, this beans. the beans, the beans, green beans with the coconut. Really delicious. Yeah. It's lovely. It's a combination, you know, taking your rice and just adding some some spices and some sauce to it, just to sort of bind it together, and then all these lovely little condiments that go with it. Sandos. Sabus. Sandos. 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 S A N D O S. So the guy's out here doing the banana chips that he promised he was going to do this evening. Look at that, man. Look, look, look. <laughs> yeah, try. Mm. My name. My name. What was this that you put in? Oh, no, no. Salt. So, salt. Salt. Little salt. So Sandos is putting some uh, salt in there as well. <laughs> Look at this mandolin. Beautiful wooden mandolin. Nice one. Gotta watch your fingers. Sharp, huh? Four bananas at a time. <laughs> Now that's coconut oil, so he's frying it in coconut oil. Has a low uh, smoking point, so it's really perfect. And it, it adds a real unusual flavor to these bananas as well. 
So we're gonna get a bag of these um, lightly salted banana chips, deep fried in coconut oil. How good is that? Love these guys. Love that. And we've got. I'm all right. I've got mine. <laughs> we've got these lovely salty. These are so good. They're nothing like you expect. They're actually almost. Um, like a savory yeah you know, expect them to be sweet but they're savory salty and fried in coconut oil they're so so good we are going to go downstairs now meet the family and we're going to be doing some cooking with jc we've been here a couple of weeks now and every single day jc has made us breakfast and she's made a different breakfast she's really creative she's isn't she good. she's yeah. very good yeah. so today JC is going to teach us how mums at home in Kerala make...